Yo, what up? Peace and blessing to the fam. This should be homie Jared back again with another No BS video brought to you by the RetroInsider.com. As always, I'd like to say thank you to all you new and returning visitors. As you see from the thumbnail and the title, we got the Bodega New Balance 990 V3 that we're going to check out today. We're going to go over the quality, the sizing, and the comfort, and all of that good jazz. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. Welcome back. And before we dive into the deep details, let's just talk about the shoe itself, some of the back details, stories about it. So it's done in collaboration with Bodega, which is a retailer here in the US. The shoe released sometime in June. I can't remember the exact date, but it retailed for a price of 220 bucks, which is normally a little bit more than what we're used to paying for New Balance made in the US models. But since it is collaboration and a dope one, I might add, I think the 220 price point is kind of on par. Now the shoe celebrates the 15 year existence of Bodega and they are actually no strangers to collabing with New Balance. I know some of you are familiar with the No, uh, no Days Off, No Bad Days releases that they released a couple years ago, which were smash hits. I wish I could have gotten my hands on a pair, but I'm glad I got these instead. But anyways, yeah, this is a great shoe. So let's go ahead and start talking about the materials and the details. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the materials on the New Balance 990 V3. And for the most part, the standout of the show is going to be this suede that we see here. And also included on the shoe, we do have mesh and synthetic overlays. Also hits a 3M. But the suede on this shoe, and along with a lot of the other New Balance made in the U.S. models, is superb. As we take a close-up here, you can see it kind of has a little hairy snap to it. And then on the back heel, it gets extra nappy. And then we see the little bitty uh, decals across the shoe. But for the most part, the majority of the upper is made of this suede and also this nice breathable mesh. And then on the lateral side, we have a little bit more of that kind of new buck suede in this darker color. But also um, these little lighter tan overlays just add to the shoe just perfectly. Now the overall design is pretty understated if I do say so myself. But the little details that they place around the shoe, like the little orange eyelets here for the laces, you know, we got the Bodega hit right there, the 2006, which symbolizes when Bodega was open. And then this light teal blue sock liner. These are the touches that just bring the shoe together and make it, uh, you know, just to me, just an excellent, excellent shoe. Now, um, another detail that I really like, not just on this shoe, but just about any shoe, is the gum outsole so we got the gum outsole with a little bit of hit of blue right there it's just perfect little touch and the orange that we also seen on uh the eyelets right there and then that in and the endurance part of the outsole that we see in the sock liner now another aspect that i like about the shoe is this tongue it's done up in this kind of textile material that's kind of like a dark goldish kind of color with the new balance USA done in that blue that I really, really like. So yeah, man, the materials on this shoe are pretty much superb. Now, as far as the construction, it's pretty good. It's not perfect. As you can see, we got some loose strings around the shoe. But for me personally, those aren't deal breakers. Like if it doesn't ruin the function out of the other shoe or really change the aesthetic, those little details I think are to be expected, even if they, this is a made in the US shoe. So. Uh, dope shoe let me know what you th think about the colorway in the comments below do you think it is you know something you would rock or was it something you kind of just like yeah i passed on um at first i was kind of on the fence but then i started seeing pictures on ig and i was like you know what man i gotta have these <laughs> but uh, also included in the box are two different sets of laces i have what comes with the shoe in right now 
but I think at some point I will probably change to the blue laces. I think I like the blue laces as far as just bringing a little bit more pop to the shoe. And uh, yeah, last but not least, let me not forget about the insole. Uh, we have the New Balance Bodega logo here on the left shoe. And then on the right shoe, we have the 15 years Bodega. Thank you. And also on that back here, we had a 2021 symbolizing the uh, current date, which celebrates the 15 year of the brand. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the comfort of this shoe. All right, so as far as comfort, guys, if you're familiar with New Balance, you already know they have some of the best, most comfortable shoes on the market, whether it's their newer models or their older heritage models like the 990 V3. Um, this fits pretty much like any other 990 V3 as well, but as far as comfort-wise, you're not gonna get the softest midsole. This end cap midsole is built for durability. So where the other brands like Nike and Adidas have softer midsoles that don't last as long, these aren't as soft, but as far as the longevity of that comfort, it maintains itself for a longer period of time. So you can wear this casually. You can wear this if you wanna run in them. You're gonna notice that you're gonna get the same comfort from day one that you get on day 100, 200, whatever the case may be. So um, as far as me, I really do like the fit of the 990 V3. And I even compared it to my V4s and V5s, which I do have. And I would say this one is probably the more comfortable shoe out of all three. So even though the V4 and V5 are newer, this one felt a little bit better for some reason. I don't know. Like I haven't had a whole bunch of time with this shoe, but I can tell you this right here, you're not going to be disappointed as far as the comfort. Now, as far as the fit, I'm usually at 11 and a half and 12 in most shoes with other brands as well. And in this shoe, as with almost all 990s, I go down a half a size. So 11 and a half and 12, I go down to 11 and a half in these. Now you can see how this shoe is fitting on my foot, loosely laced. I need to re probably adjust the lace a little bit, but this is how I like to wear my shoes. And going down a half size for me, allows me to wear my shoe loosely without having to be concerned about any heel slippage here in the back. So um, for most people, going true to size would work. It might feel a little roomy here in the toe box though, because most of the New Balance shoes are wider in the toe box. So if you do prefer that one-to-one -one fit, you definitely want to go down to half size. But for wider foot people or those who prefer that looser fit, you definitely want to stay true to size. In not many situations do I see anybody having to go up a half size in the New Balance 990 V3. And that's probably going to be the same for any 990 V3, whether it's this shoe or any other one that's on the market coming out. So, um, yeah, man, let me know you, what you guys think about this shoe in the comments below. Like I said, I think I'm going to rock with the blue laces. But if you do have a pair or want a pair, um, yeah, go ahead and check out the uh, secondary market right now. The prices are not steep at all for whatever reason. Um, you know, the New Balance, hate it or love it kind of shoe, especially not the 990. It's definitely that dad shoe look. Definitely not a shoe that fits with the modern aesthetic of what people really uh, rock these days. <laughs> you just got to be a, a fan of New Balance or somebody who understands the importance of this sneaker in regards to sneaker culture and history. So, uh, yeah, man, this is going to be a dope, dope shoe for me. Definitely good to have this in my rotation. This is actually the second 990 V3. I have the V1, missing the V2, but hopefully the release is coming out later this month. On the 16th, I believe, that uh, version series one, I'll be able to pick up and we can complete the set. Because I have, like I said, one, three, four, and five. So, yeah, man. Here is the 990 V3 by New Balance and Bodega. Um, thank you for checking out the video. If you like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You already know what to do. But I got more heat coming for y'all. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the Retro Insider for a first look at all of my pickups. And also check out the RetroInsider.com for more information on sneakers and releases. But until next time, y'all know what it is. Stay humble and proceed.